Hello and welcome to today's video. Today I'm going to be filling a new palette um, that I just purchased. It is a little aluminum palette. I will have it linked down below. And it is super cute. It has 26 wells, I believe. And today I'm gonna to be filling it with some of my favorite new colors. And I am <laughs> going to base a lot of the setup on what I have here. This is my Holbein aluminum palette. And as you can see, I've kind of run out of space for my colors. So that's why I got this little guy. Also, since this one is a little more compact, even though it has more wells uh, than this one, this will be my new plein air palette because it is so compact. So just a recap of what I have here. Uh, most of my paints are either Daniel Smith or Winsor Newton, but I also have some Holbein and some Sennelier paints in this palette. I even have some white gouache, which you can see in some Chinese white watercolor and a whole bunch of mess here. So I'm going to basically be resetting up the way that I have worked in this one. So I've decided that um, the first couple colors are going to be my, my lamp black. This is a Winsor Newton lamp black. So I have my lamp black, which is gonna be first. And this lamp black is by Winsor Newton, and I've had this for a very long time, as you see by the destroyed tube. The next color I'm gonna use is a newer color to me, but I absolutely love it, and that is Daniel Smith's Neutral Tint. So that's gonna go right beside my other one there, my little lamp black. And then I'm gonna be moving on to the blues. Now, um, the blues can be a little difficult because I have several different colors going on here. I'm gonna be using a couple different brands as well for these. So I have a lot of blues, but I'm gonna be starting with the Daniel Smith Indigo. I'm starting with that because it is the darkest of my blues. And then in my other palette, I have it set up that I have my ultramarine first. So my ultramarine is gonna be first. So I'm gonna have ultramarine. I'm gonna have some phthalo turquoise. And then I'm gonna have my beautiful cerulean. I'm also going to include my cobalt blue. Now, I didn't include that in my Holbein palette here, but I actually think that I miss it because I've really liked working with it in my uh, little master scene palette that I have here. So I've, I've used it a lot in this particular palette, so I'm gonna bring it back in the little one. I also have Horizon Blue, which has become a huge favorite, um, at, and that's by Holbein. And then I'm gonna include my Cobalt Turquoise. As you can see, it's a lot of blue going on here. So I think I'm gonna move on into the greens next. I have um, two greens that I would like to include. That is the Winsor Newton Blue Shade and the olive green, and I also have, whoop, that flew, my rich green gold. So I'm going to start with the bluest of the greens. And this color is one that I haven't actually used a ton, but I have it in my other Masterson palette there, and I've really enjoyed playing with it again. Now I'm going to start adding my yellows. And for yellows, I basically only have three, and that is my cadmium, and this is, yeah, just a regular cad yellow, my Hansa yellow deep, and my lemon yellow, which I actually may substitute for my Sennelier yellow this time. But I'm gonna start with my gold cadmium. I don't know, should I go this way? I feel like I should. I 
So I'm going to go back into my neutrals, dip into them a little bit. And my burnt sienna, I think I want to use... I thought I had a Sennelier one. I guess I don't, so I'm going to use my Winsor Newton one. And then I have my Van Dyke Brown, and some people are like, oh, you put brown in your palette, you can mix browns, but I use it all the time. And then now I'm gonna stick into my reds. So I have my Cad Red. I have my Carmine. I'm gonna jump ahead just because I wanna make sure that I have enough space for these. I have my Daniel Smith Buff Titanium, which is a color I absolutely have to have now. I'm addicted to it. And then I'm also gonna throw in some of my white gouache on this end, just because I use it a lot for final details. So I'm gonna put Quinacridone Magenta, Rose of Ultramarine, and I have two more, but only a couple more slots. So I think it's gonna have to be Rose Matter and Moon Glow. All right, I think that is all of the colors that I'm including in this. All right, so this is my new play palette. It's looking pretty darn good. I've got um, a couple unusual colors on this side, more of my fun colors that I like to use for fun things, and also my basic mixes and then some other fun ones. So I think it's a good combination. I think it'll be a fun palette to play with. So I'm gonna let that dry and set now. So here is a quick swatch card of all the colors. You can see they're very reflective because they're very wet. Except for this guy's a mix, <laughs> so ignore that one. Um, but yeah, so I think that this palette's gonna give me a really nice range of colors. I especially like that I have a lot of blues to work with because I tend to um, really like you know subtle blue colors. And it's really nice to have a range from cool to warm colors, highly saturated colors, staining and non-staining, granulating and non-granulating colors. Although it may seem a little much, <laughs> I think that it fits my painting style very well. So a um, couple of things that I did notice is a couple of these colors are kind of similar. I feel like I could have switched out one or two of these for another one. Um, but you know, that's a thing for the next palette. I did swatch out and decide on these colors uh, beforehand, even though I was getting a little lost pulling the tubes out <laughs> and was practicing some mixes. And I'm definitely going to do more experimentation um, coming up, so stay tuned for that. I might do a whole video on um, deciding on what to put in a palette or um, working out your favorite palette colors. So there you go. That is my um, palette filling video. So I hope you guys enjoyed watching me uh, play with paint and fill up a new palette. It's very fun. And I hope that that gives you a couple ideas um, for your own palettes. I know this isn't a very like this, these are the colors you pick type of video. Um, but a lot of it is just finding what you like. So these are colors that I like and I'm going to play with them until I don't like them anymore. <laughs> anyway guys, thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you in the next video.